Grizz fam, what's up? We back at it again. I come to you with a chest day. Uh, this is my typical chest uh, workout um, on the Juggernaut program. This was um, my second wave. I had to do all eight. And uh, I believe it's, it was with 245 or 250. I forget which, but um, definitely like the first two waves of the Juggernaut program, you're doing a lot of uh, reps, eight and tens and multiple sets of it. So you're working a lot of um, volume workout to build up that uh, endurance, which is going to pay off when it comes to strength because you're going to need it. And it's, it's doing both, you know, working out endurance and strength. But to do it at the same time is pretty tough. But, um, you know, this is usually what I do. Uh, like I explained in my leg video, you know, you do your squats, you do your main set, and then everything else is accessories. Uh, here was, I believe, my first set of the 245, going for eight. And then... Um, but here's the thing though, it's it's not just touch and go, like I would normally do, like I've done in previous programs. What I've done is actually, I pause every rep. You know, pause reps helps dramatically when it comes to strength increase. So I typically would have five sets of eight, and then um, I pause rep four sets. Every single rep is paused. On the fifth set, is it's touch and go. It's usually, you know, whatever amount of reps plus. As many as you can do, but you want to stay, you know, two reps shy from failure. So, typically, I by the time I'm doing these pause reps on um, bench press, I, I get gassed after the second, after the second um, set. I know the third set, after four or five reps, like literally, I can't go anymore because my form starts to break down that I refuse to try to force rep it and you know any type of further injury to happening um, on the typically on my right side I get cramped up and it starts to tighten up a lot because I've had um, a previous injury over there where I've had a grade 2 sprain in my pec minor and um, I never got it you know seen by a doctor they gave me a freaking, uh, what'd you call it? An arm sling and some Tylenol. I said, deal with the pain, let the swelling come down. So usually uh, when I feel like a, you know, tightness in that right pec minor shoulder area, I kind of just rack the weight because I'm looking for good form throughout. You know, I tell a lot of my clients, listen, if you have five reps and you squeeze two out, rack it up, take a couple deep breaths, and go again until you complete those five reps you know form matters to me i don't want any you know unnecessary injury because i'm pushing myself too hard or beyond what my body can do you know i am doing um stretching foam rolling uh you name it i'm doing it in order to increase the range of motion to soften up the tissue but there are just days that I come in, you know, just cramping no matter what I do. And, you know, we have those days. But this was my uh, final set. I decided to throw my belt on there. I believe it's my final set. I decided to throw my belt on. Definitely with um, a belt during bench press, it helps you keep the intra-abdominal pressure. So you feel like you can explode when you're doing your, um, your working sets. And... Um, you know, is definitely controlling it. I don't work with the belt all the time. Um, I, you see a lot of power lifters who wear a belt throughout the entire workout. I usually don't like wearing a belt throughout the entire workout just because it's it starts to get uncomfortable and I can't breathe. And then also, I don't want to rely on a belt to create intra-abdominal pressure. So typically on my squat days, my rest days, and my deadlift days, I'm doing straight up core work, you know, directly working the core with planks, with uh, lower leg raises, with uh, um, hanging knee raises, uh, you know, a bunch of core exercise to strengthen my abdominal core, my lower back, my mid back, 
everything to work in sync together because believe it or not it all coincides with all your lips no matter what you're doing um but yeah you know it's it's pretty much just that when it comes to um my training program and um you know i'm still busting my butt i i do want to work towards a meet the meet i was working towards i am working towards is november but that's kind of looking shaky right now you know so i don't know if i'll be able to do it at all you know for good reasons um but i'm gonna still train i'm gonna still bust my butt in the gym to get much further than where i was at um at uh, my first meet you know if you um seen my instagram um i actually went and did a 500 for one rep and if you watch my previous video on my meet i did 490 as my last set so you know i was pretty happy with that definitely definitely happy with that the strength is coming up and you know it's working sub maximal weight and pushing your body beyond its limit but under your control here's a bunch of accessory stuff you know i was doing uh chest press flies the typical bodybuilding workout style after my major strength set you know everything else is you know I, that's why I, you know considered the workout like power building you work on your strength and then you go into a more of a bodybuilding working type like a bodybuilder working type of workout sets you know three sets four sets eight to ten reps or even higher but with the accessories that I choose to do is to help towards the goal of getting my my main three stronger. So on chest days, I'm doing you know dumbbell uh, chest press, either incline or flat flies. I'm doing um, incline hammer strength paused. I'm doing a bunch of accessory works to enable me to get stronger in my bench overall. And as I get further into prep, I'm gonna incorporate a lot of uh, pin presses, floor presses to help with the lockout, to help with the strength on top of the benching and more benching and more benching. You know, you guys, it's not that hard when it comes to understanding what you need to do be to become stronger or to become more developed muscularly. It's just finding the proper program, understanding your body type, and most importantly nutrition you guys um and that's pretty much it you know still flying still doing what i do you know I'm, i i know i'm kind of late with dropping this video but it is you know still working with uh, other projects for youtube recording um trying to get my uh camera fixed and also it's the time that i go into the gym you know there are times a lot of these workouts are done early morning like four or five in the morning nobody's there it's easy to record but usually if i go in the evening now it's almost nearly impossible where everybody is walking in front of the camera and it's extremely annoying but um you know i'm still doing this still grinding you guys for you guys pumping out the videos and um I'm going to bring out a lot more heat, a lot more content, you know, definitely drop me some recipe videos. I've been, I want to step my game up for that. So, um, you guys stay tuned, keep watching, you know, I'm going to drop some heat for you guys. Subscribe, like, comment, share the video, do, guys, do what you got to do, you guys. You know, I definitely appreciate the support. You know, I, I'm, I'm definitely here for the help and I appreciate everything. So you guys keep watching the rest of the video and I'll see you guys next time.